Today is National Melanoma Monday. All day we've been showing you stories about ways to prevent skin cancer. And one of those is making sure the type of sunscreen you use keeps you safe. Channel 2's Chip Brewster got some advice from an expert. Hey guys, I'm here at MD Anderson with Susan Chan, doctor and associate professor of dermatology here. Tell us what does someone look for or should be looking for when they're picking out sunscreen? I recommend to my patients to look for a mineral-based zinc oxide or titanium dioxide based sunscreen. And where do they find that information when they're looking? So you basically look on the back of your sunscreen and look under the active ingredient list. You're looking for zinc oxide, 6% or greater, or titanium dioxide. What about the numbers on the front that most people are looking at? SPF 30 will give you about 97% protection, which is more than adequate. What's more important is actually reapplying every couple of hours. What about the SPFs that are like 45, 50, like pure SPF? It's kind of an arms race, right? Mm -hmm. Bigger is better, more is better. But actually, once you get past 30, it's probably negligible how much more sunscreen protection you get. You really just need to keep reapplying. Is there anything that people should be looking out for on the negative side? Well, I guess for my patients, um, you know, a lot of them are worried about just general health. They don't like adding chemical sunscreens to their skin as they get absorbed. And so we try to tend to stay away from chemical sunscreens. I really tell them, number one is to seek shade, stay out of the sun. Number two, wear some protective clothing. That's really helpful, making some shade for yourself. Wear a hat, wear sunglasses. And last, use sunscreen, but maybe a zinc oxide based sunscreen is best. But the bottom line overall here is that everyone needs needs to be aware of the amount of sun exposure they're having. Absolutely. Try to avoid the midday sun. It's really strong. I mean, so go earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon. Wow, that, good that, advice. Yeah, lots of advice, mm -hmm. right? So that was Chip Brewster reporting. Also a note, many women and men use moisturizer with SPF in it, but you need at least one teaspoon of moisturizer to get some of the benefits of the SPF. So because of that, doctors recommend using regular sunscreen in addition to your SPF. And they told me today, all ages, all colors, mm -hmm. everyone can be affected by skin cancer. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all love to get out there in the sun, but yeah, you got to protect yourself. So. Totally. Yeah.